The foot is stamping it up. The foot is stamping it up, Lloyd. The foot is, what is going on? The stamping, though. Huh? 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 What's good, people? What's good? Hold on. Let me. The lighting really is gonna be an issue. You look like you're in the background, though. You look like you're in the wall, though. Like in the wall. <laughs> Okay, what's good people? It's myself, James. One and only. One and only. Cool fam. Bin oh. captures. What should they even know? Is it a new clock? I know you wouldn't clock. I Shit. know you wouldn't go clock. I wouldn't clock, you know. I know you wouldn't clock. Read it. Shit. Live on air. Okay, anyway. Bro, yeah. it's a new clocking man. Anyway, I don't know. I'll, have a, have a chat. Have I've been with this guy for two hours. No, how long? Fucking three hours. I did four hours. Three hours leaving. Oh, three hours. I didn't know that. Guys, we're live on air. That's it. And always. This is Corbin Captures. I don't know if they can see. Corbin Captures. I have a matching shorts, but I was thinking I'm taking the piss. It's not raining today. It was raining today. Are you going to wear it? Yeah, I was, but I was thinking, like, what are we going to do? Put my leg in the air. <laughs> but yeah, now nah, i got a summer cold going on. Anyways, um, I have a project coming up soon. <laughs> Seeing as Lloyd just cooked. Hold on, let me continue. Let me continue. But anyway, I'm James Corbin Catchers. I'm here with... One and only G-Star. Not the one hand. You're not the only. This is what the... <laughs> you're not the one or the only, but yeah. Do you want it with me or later? Ah, uh, shut up. Yeah, now nah, why? Shut up. Let me put me this room. Huh? I'm going this morning, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spontaneous thing. Yeah, going this morning. As you know, guys, I'm a bit of a mess. Nothing to happen. Busybody. Joanna, the real Joanna, busybody. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, mess me up. I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> so we're here. I thought, let me just chat with Uno. Real talk. Uno does stress. This is going to be a less talk video. All the Chinese, so I can't feel you. Right now, we're, we're, we're in the month of June, isn't it? Yeah, man. This month is going fast so quick. The last time I posted a video was probably it was a dilemmas video and after that uni took over my life i was like i had a workload in it i feel like a lot was going on all at the same time and like i just like to always like constantly at least once every two weeks or once a week be able to post on youtube and like that wasn't able to happen due to assignments and i had stuff going on as well in my actual life like real life one the real actual life so like yeah it's been a bit it's been a bit of a rocky one and like i don't know like i've been feeling a little bit demotivated with youtube a bit as well like um i don't know like you know like when you picture like what you've had planned and like what you want and there's a to numbers especially i know people say oh don't lose don't worry about numbers don't think too tough on it but at the time you're always you're, of course you're checking you're checking you're seeing are people engaging am i in bringing new people into the corbin family kind of thing mm -hmm. are people able to discover me of course and i've got ideas there but it's like you know doubting 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 self-motivation yeah, yeah. doubting obviously seeing my co-pairs are doing really well which i'm happy for as well and like it's like i like what they're doing is for them and i know what's for me for me like that's one thing i'll never like I come here and act as if something I'm not. So that's why even a video like this is saying play exactly how I feel is natural and what's gonna let you guys know what's going on. Cause I like to always push out real things and talk the real things. Not what's the going fake, on. Not, not the fake things. Cause like, I don't know, like my mental state's just been a bit rough. Like this has been a bit of a rough one. Like just reconnecting with Lloyd. James, <laughs> are we talking about this? No, maybe, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see. That's been a bit rough, like this whole thing, like from like, obviously, I don't know, I spoke about in my last life update mm -hmm. video, like how I was um, starting to like reach out to family members who plainly haven't been there for me kind of thing and who don't necessarily deserve my love, my care, my interest and like it's me going out my way to kind of build that connection because I don't want to harbour hate for anyone and because mm. I know I can't move forward if that makes sense if I'm holding hatred against people in it so so it's been hard in it it's been hard it's been hard and then on top of it like 
my I don't know I don't even plan to say this, but like my living situation is just a bit stressing you out, yeah. Yeah, like obviously where I need I'm, I have to move house now and like when you're on your own, yeah, plain and simple. When you're on your own and like when it's just you and everything else, and you're learning, you're having to learn so much from me learning about how to actually rent the different things about deposit. It's not just uni com because now I'm no longer living with uni coms. I'm a yeah, twenty year old man turning twenty one. Mm -hmm. So I've now got Real to think thing. what's gonna go on, where am I gonna live, what's after. gonna happen after. So like, I'm speaking this testimony into existence right now by talking about it because I don't like to talk about things while it's ongoing. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I've had creative block and different things because I've just been over stressing things in it. So me speaking now and being able to speak about it with you guys with Lloyd here as if it's me speaking that things are gonna work out they are gonna work out but I've wait, been working mm -hmm. but wait this is the thing I'm gonna tell you now yeah you know when it comes to like you you saying that you're you haven't got time to like do your creative stuff in it not time it's like block mm -hmm. I feel like I can't you can't like, do, do you know what everything else do you know what I mind. feel like what you're trying to do is that you're trying to rush you're trying to rush, you're trying to, you're thinking you're Superman, you're thinking you can do everything at once, you can't. Just so you have to do one thing at a time. When you finish doing that one, that's when you lead on to the next one. And then but the next wait, one. one thing you need to understand though, me, because this year, I kind of stripped myself back from everyone, kind of thing. I've been spending a lot of time by myself, in it. So I'm just constantly, when I was on thinking, I'm thinking, what can I do? What am I going to meant to do next? Yeah, okay. And things like to pile up, in it. I just think you should just take it easy, man. So don't, don't stress, like take it easy. No, I feel like I'm in a better place now. Like good news has been coming across the past week or two weeks. We had time to work on this with um the person <laughs> collaborating with. Yeah, we it online. No, always I've online. Got things, I've got things planned in it, but I just want it to be in God's time in the way that God wants it to be. Definitely, in it. God's time is the best timing. Never forget, God's timing is always the best timing. And obviously, you know, um, I take like this uni thing so serious, like when it comes to the grades and stuff, because that's what I'm relying is gonna change my life. Like, Definitely, well, everyone's like in uni. Well, yeah, like literally, I, I, I God, that I'm gonna be able to build myself up, and I'm gonna learn these skills. I'm gonna take the opportunity I have. I'm gonna go out and go to the career I want to. And during this time, uni is the most for me. It's like it's do or die kind of thing. What happens if I have no job after? Do you see what I mean? Like, no, it's scary. Like, no. do, 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 what, where is no other option no, for me is, kind yeah. of thing? There's it's nowhere scary. else. I've got to have money to pay the rent at this point. Like, yeah, I'm, with me, my mind every set. summer reminds me of where it is because there's no loan for that's summer. True. Do you get what I mean? I don't want to finish. I don't want to graduate and then go back to uni. I'm so sorry. That's not the type of life that I want to live. No offence. Do you understand? I want to graduate. But you don't live. Do you need to do what then? Huh? Where would you go back to uni to do? Sorry, not uni. Sorry, not uni. Sorry, retail. Oh, like working in retail. I can't. Sure. I can't graduate uni and then I'm going to retail. No, like that's obviously, not what I want to do. Obviously, so obviously, no, obviously, some people they have you only because they're industry thing, but they're working towards it. I, yeah, but they're when working you're not moving, it. when you've settled for something that you know in your heart isn't you. Retail baby for you and what you yeah, want. Yeah, and do. that's cool. If it's retail for you, hospitality is a, is a skill. That, a yeah, you're like, getting money. It's a but gift that's from not God. Me. It's still a gift from God. Yeah, but, but like, that's not me. That's not me. Like, do you understand? So, no offense to anyone that's watching it. Like, do your thing in it. But I'm just saying, personally. That's not me. I want to go to the creative industry. Creative industry is not for me. It's not retail. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be a fashion guy or someone's guy. I don't want to do that. You understand? So with that, with that, that also stresses me out too. Like, cause sometimes when I have bare time on my, on my hands, I'm thinking, Lloyd, like you're wasting time. You know, like there's certain stuff to do, and then that comes with the along with the depression stuff as well it's just everything that, when you're alone it's like you're vulnerable uh -huh. to like to stuff so when you're alone stuff starts coming to your head like what well, you're not doing enough or you know you should be doing better or something like that way to do after uni like uni like when it comes to uni like i understand what you're saying yeah with your, your mental state when it comes to uni uni is a bit hard uni is a bit mad and it's no cap it's no cap Guys, the way the reason we're able to talk about this and be open and say what's going on, because I know so many of other people out here is watching, especially guys, especially black guys, and I'm not saying that we're fair because I know people are stuck suffering and they got to put on like a facade, innit? it? <laughs> like we go through stuff. This is we go through stuff. It's not oh yeah yeah oh yeah you're with this girl. It's not like the girls. I think they think, oh yeah, 
he's going around cheating this one, this one, this one, and that's it. That's it. When you're in your room alone and it's just you and life is coming at you fast, because that's, that's what the enemy does, isn't it? Comes at you fast. The enemy, I don't know what, that, what the hell I've done to them, but they've been working hard, fam. Full shifts, you know. James, they've been working hard. And I've got to push how important it is to maintain your relationship with God. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a Christian, in it? I'm a Christian, I believe in God, and this is, the, this is the way I see it, kind of thing. I feel like anything in the mind where you can't physically stop is all spiritual things. Mm. And you can only fight a spiritual warfare with God. spiritual spiritual weapons. Yeah. You can't fight with your hand. You can't, however strong you think you are, you can't fight with your hand. You can't go up there and start punching none of them. You know what I mean? you got to be, you got to have the right equipment with you. Definitely. You know what I mean? You, and that's God, your Bible. You know, it's like it's, it's like it's your, your faith. It's not. It's not even that, Lloyd. It's the faith. It's about faith. It's about your rebuilding your relationship with God in it, and like God gives you that insurance from inside. I feel, innit? True. But yeah, I feel like what people forget to do also when they come to uni is that like they forget to pray or forget praying. Or they forget where they came from and how they what they what they grew up doing. What they what was what had them coping. What like schedule they were under, the things that they would do if they went to church, it kind of goes out the window. And I'm speaking for myself, not speaking for people in general. I'm talking about my own self because I know, I know it's in myself things that I've let loose and kind of But I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and be fake and, and not be real in it. But when, when I grew up, growing up here, yeah, every Sunday was church. Every mm -hmm. night before I slept, I had to pray. Mm -hmm. I can sit, I can sit here and I say, I don't do them things. Let me tell you what I don't do. I can never sleep without praying. Because I know God's done bare stuff for me. I know there's a God, do you understand? But when oh, it comes God, to like yeah. going to church, like to me, because of the experience I've had in the past, church ain't for me. You can't say that though. No, okay. No, so, as you know, what's happened is that, that I'm, I'm going to be honest with you there. What's happened is the enemy, some, I don't know how we've ended up here, but we're, we're going there. Now. How, I don't know how, what's happened is the enemy's placed. Because remember, people ain't the church. People ain't God. We're all human beings. We all can do wrong. So okay. what's happened there has been happened from the enemies allow people to go. Of course, there's so many people that's possessed with the devil inside the yeah, church. Yeah, yeah. Let's be real. Like I've said this. I say this all the time. They, whatever's happened in your situation has been made for you to feel uncomfortable and for you not to want to go back and say, church isn't for me. Church isn't about for you, it's for God, it's for your relationship with God. And if it's the right church you need, mm. that's something totally different. No, but church full stop can't not be for you. I just think yeah, it's the the church that I went to, it just left the, like a bad taste. I get, I get what you're saying. I get it what you're saying. Just left the bad I've taste had a similar, mind. I've had a similar, yeah, yeah. I've had a similar flavor, and it does kind of demotivate you because it's kind of like where do you start Same. over again? Like, I, and especially if you go to a church there and you, yeah, I, I know what you're I saying. For me to go to a church, I, I, just, I don't want to just go into any random church and then. I experienced the same thing. You know thing, where it man. is? You need to pray on it though. You need to pray no, on no, it. No, no, no. I think that's what like, I God, like, like, literally one day, right, when you're on time, God, guide me to where I need to go and where I'm going to be able to draw a real connection with you and your people around me is going to inspire me and I'm going to get help in it. But, okay, enough of the deep stuff. <laughs> it went real, it went real serious real quick, but the time's going so quickly. And now, ooh. Only 40 minutes. Oh! I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not how it always is when we film though. When true, we in particular true. film, yeah, 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 yeah. time goes by fast, fast, fast. I hope we're not talking rubbish in it. But no, I think this is this is what they need to hear. Go into I can't scared land. my heart. But wait, but wait, one more thing, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was chatting to someone mm -hmm. and they were like, oh, when they were like, when you watch stuff like other YouTubers that are in uni or stuff like the big class and that, mm -hmm. you think, oh, uni's lit, like uni's did 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 did. Don't get, don't get me twisted, don't get twisted. Certain parts of uni is lit. But when it comes to the behind the scenes, when in your room, double accommodation, full walls, like, uh, they're not good. And that's real. Like, people who come to uni expecting it's gonna be lit 24-7, it's not. Like, you need to face reality. I'm hoping that our spirits is when we talk on the people are listening and when they're, because these situations will come up. Because we're not the only people in uni, everyone's gone uni. Mm -hmm. And everyone in uni knows what we're chatting about. Everyone all is going to know. It's about what you do when the situations come. So maybe if you hear this, you'll be able to know how to tackle it better, innit? And like, 
don't try don't seclude yourself is one thing i'm tr trying and learning to practice myself because I know that's not going to help your situation when you're always super drawn away from people like where no one can help help you because I've seen so many of my actual mates just deteriorating, deteriorating, deteriorating and they feel like they can't even speak to the people who they can speak to and like it makes me sad innit? It, it, it does. Are you indirecting me? I'm not indirecting you. I'm not indirecting you but like multiple. Did you, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That like we've, we've all had our situations going on in it. But I wish everyone was able to speak in it and like when like when the time is because it's not you're not hindering no one. For example, if you're the type of person like me that's always like the entertain and entertaining other people, people won't ever think that oh you're going through I know what you mean. Or when you're or when you're in in my case, when you seem to always have your stuff together. Thank you, yeah. Like, people won't ever be like, oh, what's wrong with you? Or even if you tell them what's wrong with you, they wouldn't want to hear it out. Just be like, oh, yeah, let me, I'll pray for you. That's it. Cool. I know you, I appreciate you praying for me, but maybe I just need someone to hear me out. Do you understand? Give me advice. That's why with me, when I'm going through certain things, I don't tell everyone. I tell one or two people. Because you can't, if you go around telling people stuff here, yeah, people, uh, that, you, then again, you can't really trust a lot of people. Do you understand? It's true. Like, every time you say something, it has to be for a reason. You can't. And to who as well. You can't just be wheeling out to any and anyone Never who has an air to listen. <laughs> like, you know, sometimes you your might be talking to the devil. Worse, you're talking you know? to the devil. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, sometimes your situation might even get even worse. Listen, it's a spiritual warfare. I'll say it once and I said it again. The spiritual warfare, you have to pick it up with God. That's all I can say regarding my experience with mental health and everything to do with the mind in it. Because doubts, from doubts to depression, to self-confidence is all from the mind. I feel like I've got a weight off my chest talking about this anyway. Let's start something positive, well, a bit more positive and stuff has been going on. So last week, we had um, Lloyd, ACS vice president oh, yeah. here. He and the team of ACS, they organized an ACS ball. But my first bit of Ankara, it was such a- No, James looked, James looked good still. Like, he looks like, he, I was like, rah! My boy, that I was doing the real Afro beats king. <laughs> I'll put like a video and a picture here, and then Lloyd <laughs> tried a whole new thing, and Twitter was feeling. Listen, it. listen, listen. Let me put my plate down, yeah. Let me put my plate down. Listen, let bro. Me see, let me see. Everyone knows that when it comes to me, I do over. I overdo it, but this is the thing. I want to do something that I've never seen anyone do, and I posted it on Twitter. Two K likes, but cool. People were doing that banter, people were saying I was wearing a morning gown. Really? Who? Yeah, just a shower, a, a shower robe. Where was this, was that? Yeah, it's not. You know, you know those fake people that add you, and they've got like two, like 200 schools, the oh, people that yeah. had, someone said I look ugly, I was just like, yo, thank you though. Really? Yeah, 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 I was getting hate. Someone said I look like, someone said that when you got spa, when you got Afro Nation at 9 p.m., and spa at 6 a.m. with the, with the bay, that's what they- Who said that to you? I'll go on Insta, I'll show you, I'll go on Twitter, I'll show you. That's wicked, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> 2K likes though. Obviously, you guys know I'm Caribbean, so I just enjoyed the whole culture. My friend Priscilla, shout out Priscilla, she actually made me. She said, you're gonna wear some Ankara. Uh -huh. I had an idea. Like, same as Lloyd, he had an idea. I had an idea, yeah. It came out. And then my tailor, he just done his thing. Like, shout out to Kenny Boateng. Shout him out, I'll put out his page right here. Because he did really right well. Right there, sir. Yeah. Third year finish, it's like a big Excel. I can kind of deal with different things that I need to deal with. Because I kind of just a. Uh, even take some time with social media because. Oh, yeah. You want to hear about voice, innit? Yeah, you were, you I'm literally emails. Emailing yeah. But yeah, looking up, like, <laughs> during the summer, I want it to be as productive as possible. I've obviously been going through the dilemmas of picking work to get money mm -hmm. or work that's going to contribute to industry and help me in my career. Oh, yeah. I've got like, as well. It's obviously that's like boxing food up my mouth, but it's boxing food up my mouth temporarily because. The stuff I'm gonna get from that experience and put myself full further so that when I finish uni I can get a job and that it's easier to go into the industry I want. It just means a lot to me and I know if I want something I've got to work hard to get it. Yeah, back to what um Jay was saying as well, um when it comes to good news, like with me, I I'm in the same boat as you because okay. um I had an interview for an internship. Big you up. So for a TV company. Amen. And yeah, man, your boy got it, fam. Your boy got it. Bro, your I didn't boy... even know. I didn't even know. But I told you. Really? No, I didn't tell no one. That's how deep it is. Like, I didn't, really? I, yeah, like, I didn't even tell my parents until after like the news, innit? Yeah. How are you feeling? When does it start? What's going um, on? 
hopefully it's gonna start in August. So oh, we, we praise you, the Lord, you know. So like the same thing with you, like I'm picking that over work, do you understand? So, yeah, at the end of the day, the work will always be there, right? My C V before having a degree is employable to get retail work, to do yeah. customer service. I can even if you fire me right now. Me, <laughs> me I go somewhere else. Me I will go. be employable again. Yeah. But the experience that I need right now in the timing where I am in second year going to third year, it just doesn't make sense for me to prioritize temporary money. Pardon you. Temporary money. Pardon you. Pardon you. Yeah. I'll the burp. Yeah. Pardon you. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying it. He's trying it. Really <laughs> tried it out. But yeah, temporary money over what can be eternal money. Your what's gonna separate separate your tax bracket. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is a positive chat to empower you guys, empower ourselves. Let black men know that they can speak. Black young men, kings, also the queens as well. Who's gonna be watching this? And we all gotta help each other out. You know. No, but because you know, if we all, it would all the people who um have these skills and all we're all in the same situation. Would it not make sense for us to use our talents to work together? James, of course, things don't, don't work like no, that because they James, think it's yeah, the real doggy it's dog, dog competition. It's not, competition. Yeah, it's not competition. You lot need to stop seeing black kings and queens as enemies or competitions. Because you know that it's deep, the black like, people who see each other as enemies more than. But you lot need to stop because it's not that. We're all going somewhere, we're all going to get there. There's room for everyone, fam. Deep it. There's room for everyone. So why are you going around thinking, oh, I'm better than you? You're not better than no one, my bro. Stay in your boat. Like, help other people out. Like, it's not that deep. We're not on a higher pedestal than no one. That's what people need to understand. Like, stop seeing people as enemies in the competitions, because it's, it's disgusting. The last thing I want to talk about is the fact that, little by little, people just been dropping, like, flags around me. Not death, I mean, into God. <laughs> um, I didn't mean death. I meant like I meant like in terms of friendships and like things are fizzing out. I just feel like I'm just losing interest in a lot of people. I'm seeing the real intentions and but like, wait, James, it's just getting smaller and smaller. But and James, think, I feel like you're saying this intentionally because you want to get me started. You know I'm talking myself right now. I, I feel like you. you're just saying it intentionally. I promise you. To get you started. I promise you. I just feel like it's just like what's going on right now. No, yeah. And like, we're just starting to see the, the bigger picture and like, love you and leave you kind of thing. Like, no, with no anger though. The, the cutest cut that. The, oh, like, the real, like, I opened and closed the door cutely with the key, right? Oh. Like, it's not a thing. You know what I mean? Russ, Russ, Russ. You know, with me, what I've done now is instead of me like cutting people, cutting people now. Just keep your mouth quiet. I'm I'm gonna, yeah, that's it. I'm going to keep my mouth quiet and I'm not going to expect nothing from you. That's it. Do you know what I mean? You're gonna get a higher buy, mm. but I'm not gonna. I little things like loyalty. I don't. I'm not gonna expect that from you. You checking up on me after I told you I'm going through something. I'm not gonna expect that from you. Just understand? Like when you go through stuff, you know who's down for you. And uh, fam, even family members have gotten cut off. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully, it makes sense when I'm looking back at the edit and so I know whether it makes sense or not. No, I think it will make sense. It makes sense. Um, have a good summer. Do something productive. I will be back weekly in Jesus' name. The projects will be released. You need to add in your socials to really like get the grasp of this. So Wavy James on Snapchat, W A V E Y J A M E Z. I'm Corbin Captures on Twitter, Instagram, and we've got Lloyd here. Um, obviously, add man on Snapchat. Mr. I'll put it below. I'll put it below. I'll put it. I'll put it below. Add him on the socials below because um. And yeah. that all. And I, oh, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. God bless Thanks. you all. Like the video, try and subscribe if you want to. Wait, guys, Build YouTube video family. coming out soon, man. Check out Lloyd's channel. I'm taking a break, but I'm coming yeah. back. Later, guys. Peace. Bow.